everyone. Welcome back to Doodling Through Education. Uh, we had a nice little break. Um, I know that a lot of the CC communities around take a break um, all the way from Thanksgiving to the new year, but I'm going to keep plugging away at these videos um, so that they'll be ready when you are ready to watch them. So today we have a science video. It is CC Cycle 3 Week 13. Now in the second half of the CC year, we're gonna be jumping away from learning about the human body. Um, and for part of it, we are going to be talking about chemistry. So today we are going to be talking about the atomic number. What is it? Where can you find it on the periodic table of elements? What, why is it important? All of those things we're gonna talk about. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, um, and subscribe to this channel so you never miss an episode. I also wanted to draw your attention to a link that I put in the description through Buy Me A Coffee. If you want to support the channel, you can do so there. Without further ado, let's start doodling. To understand chemistry, we must define what the different things on the periodic table mean. And to do that, today we will be talking about the atomic number. To understand the atomic number, we must understand the components of the atom first. Now, we will be diving into these different components in an in-depth sense in the week 15 video. So I'm only going to broadly describe them so you can understand the purpose of the atomic number in this video. So generally speaking, an atom is made up of protons, which are positively charged particles, neutrons, which are particles that have no charge, and electrons, which are negatively charged particles. The protons and neutrons are located in the nucleus, the middle of the atom, and the electrons orbit and move around the nucleus. So now that we have that base of knowledge, we can further explore the atomic number. On the periodic table, the atomic number is located in the upper left-hand corner of the element box, and it refers to the number of protons in the atom. Now, the number of protons in the hydrogen atom is one because in that box you can see that there is a one in the left hand corner. That means that hydrogen has one proton. Similarly, if you were interested to see the amount of protons in calcium, you would also look in that upper left hand corner. The elements in the periodic table are organized in order from the least amount of protons to the most. So if you added or took away from the number of protons in an atom, you changed the element itself. So if you added a proton to hydrogen, you would not have hydrogen at all anymore. You would have helium. Actually, a few neutrons have to be added as well to make this new atom stable. But in the end, the result is still helium. Whereas if you add or take away electrons from an element, it makes the element positively or negatively charged. An element will become negatively charged if electrons are added due to the electrons negative charge. And if electrons are taken away from an element, the element will become positively charged. This means that if there are the same amount of protons and electrons in an element, then this element is neutral. It does not have a positive or a negative charge. 
It is important to note that the charge of an element impacts how stable this atom is and, and how it behaves due to this. But because we will be diving into this more in depth in the following weeks, this video is, was an introduction to all of this um, and purely teaches you about the atomic number. So for now, I just want you to understand these basics. And that was all for today. This was a very quick video because we will be talking more in depth about this um, topic in later videos, but the atomic number is what I want you to understand this week. So your homework for this week is to look at the periodic table of elements, talk to your parent or your friends or your siblings, and look at all of the elements that are classified in this world. Try and figure out how many protons each element has by looking at their atomic number. Try and see any patterns you see in the periodic table. And on that note, remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care. Bye.